What's up guys, my name is Joe and in today's video, Sandmark Action Gear lenses and filters for your iPhone. Now if you want to take your photos to the next level, then these are the stuff you have to choose because they will upgrade your traditional photo camera in your iPhone into something really cool and something amazing. So if you guys are interested on what these kind of things can do, then stick with me. This video was sponsored by AnyTrans from iMobi.com. Fully manage your iPhone, iPad, iPod, even iTunes and iCloud content in one handy place. Full way transfer without sync lock. AnyTrans breaks the sync boundaries and brings a full way transfer across iPhone, iPad, iPod, iTunes, iCloud and computers. Now you can move around music, photos, contacts, messages or any other data and files as you want freely smoothly and all in one click okay guys so here in front of me i got three lenses and a couple of filters so let's open these right now and here we are so in the boxes you have two filters this is a drama filter and this is a scape filter now what this does take dynamic landscape photos add motion blur to subjects or water Reduce exposure during bright daylight and shooting. It's an ND4, ND8, and ND16 filters clip-on mount. It's for iPhone 10, 10s, 10R, 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus, 6, 6 plus, 6, 6 plus, 6 S plus, 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 5 S, 5 C, and more. Now, what they also include in the box is this case which is a pretty premium case now you can see that it has it's for an iphone 10 or 10s i have actually have a 10s it for works perfectly where's my phone i'll just get my phone these awesome lenses macro lens fisheye lens a traditional telephoto lens you have the telephoto lens over here okay very very simple you just take this off you screw it on, that's it. You have a huge telephoto lens on this camera. Now I've been outside, I did some shooting around and I see that it works perfectly. You don't have to mess around with aligning where you want it to be. You can screw it in on any camera. Wide lens, which is 0.56X, meaning your field of view will be a lot larger. Now if I can just show you over here, let me just turn on the camera for you guys. So that's the view you're seeing me right now with the lens, okay? Let me just uh, zoom in there. Yeah, there you go, you got me. Now if I take this off, this is what you see. See the difference? That is the difference. Now, let me just put back the telephoto lens over here for you guys. So this is normal camera right now, telephoto lens. That is awesome. All right, let me just uh, let me just test this with all of them. Then I have fisheye lens. This is the fisheye lens. <laughs> Whoa, you can actually see the whole studio close up. This is amazing. Hi guys, you can see what's on the table, like almost from above. This is how it all looks with a fisheye lens. Wow, and I just put this on my camera there you go that's the standard view and you know if you want to zoom in then I just play. so that's that's standard zooming two times zoom and then you have the telephoto lens and it zooms in even more crazy so this is the macro lens and macro lens doesn't actually do much from a distance you can do a lot from like let me just show you the side of this okay so this is the macro lens you can see very very close with it okay you can see every detail with every little shot let me just show, let's let's see this see you can see the individual dust particles over there with your camera, it's just really awesome. Now, um, 
what else they can do is, so you have these filters, okay? And these filters, so you have the drama filter. Drama filters take dynamic landscape photos to su suppress glare and manage reflections, waterfalls, ocean, lake, mirrors, etc. Balance exposure during bright daylight. Now, while the scape filters add motion blur to subject or water, take dynamic landscape photos, reduce exposure during bright daylight and shooting. Uh, so what you do is actually, let's just open these. There you go. Now I'm gonna take my wide angle lens, okay? There you go. That's me with the wide angle lens, okay? You can see it's not as dramatic as the fisheye, but uh, you know, it's something. Now, with this filter, if you put this on here, you can actually just screw it on on the inside, okay? Now this is something for like uh, outdoor conditions or, you know, other places, not necessarily in a studio with great lighting. As you can see, that's not really blue. And you can change while you're turning the dial, you can change the amount of light or blue light that comes through more with more exposure. And then just absolutely cross out the blue light. Now, this is so dramatic because, um, because we're doing it on, a, on a, obviously a screen. But in real life conditions, uh, this is very handy when you look at clouds maybe in a bright day. And if you just turn it slightly, you will be able to get uh, the best shot with the best clouds. Now, uh, looking at the other lenses, so again, this is just very easily able to um, oops, to be there. So this is how I look now. And then when I take this off, that's how I look now. It's a bit darker. But anyway, look at this picture and this will show you what these filters are capable of, how they can actually reduce the exposure maybe around the sun. And it's it's something really, really cool. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys wanna check out these products, then hit the description down in the link below. Also, if you subscribe, then there is a giveaway at 50,000 subscribers. Uh, if you've been paying attention in my previous videos, you know what it's all about. So go on and get back there, check out those videos and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next one. Take care and hang with us.